What's going on, my boys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and Sun and Moon information is hot right now. The game recently got its starters revealed, the legendaries revealed, everyone's losing their mind, but today we have some interesting information that's been revealed by another YouTuber. It's not been done by me, I'm just reviewing the information for myself here, which apparently tells us the typing of the later evolutions of the starter Pokemon. This is a big topic for a lot of people, of course, especially if you're a competitive battler, because usually it's the typing of the starters and it being some kind of unique mix that's everybody's hopes and dreams but today we have those somewhat revealed to us now like I said not done by me but rather by P win all he did an amazing video detailing why the information of these starters typings has been leaked and it all involves the inspect element on the official Pokemon Sun and Moon page for the starters on the Japanese side so it's pretty crazy that the Pokemon company Nintendo Pokemon company they left elements hinting towards what the typing of the later evolutions of the starters would be in the actual page itself and he goes into detail finding all the information there it's all legit as hell okay I'm just telling you straight up so if you don't want to get spoiled on all this stuff I highly advise you leave now because it's not officially revealed but it's pretty much known at this point what the starters typing are going to be later on note we don't know what they look like but we know what typing they most likely will be now let's start off I'm just going to break down the information itself not the method that he used to find it because he goes into detail on that so I'll link this in the description go check that out go give him some love tell him Medica sent you and send him a big thank you for finding this stuff but from the information that he found apparently Rowlet who everyone's going crazy I don't know I'm not too crazy about Rowlet but it's a little cute I'll give it that I'm more of a pop Leo kind of guy but the Rowlet all right it's okay you know what I don't hate it and the starters grew on me a lot over the weekend I can fuck with Rowlet now I'm not wild about him. some people are saying he's the best starter ever made but I mean hey you know what I'm still down with the little guy and the fact that he turns his head completely 360 is fucking hilarious but Rowlet is apparently going to be all the way through grass flying which was kind of obvious to be honest but there's some new information that's been found now apparently the order of the typing usually reflects what would be the first the primary and then the secondary typing and from some information that they found in the comments section of this video from Rin Leah says hey you're actually wrong Rowlet's going to be grass ground lit in pure fire and poplio water fighting why because the primary type always comes first ground comes before fire and fighting comes after water so with all this information now it's kind of in debate and you know it's not just Rinalia that agrees with this but it's also P1 all himself who says I honestly 100% agree with this comment I think Rowlet will evolve into a grass ground and Litten will remain a fire type well the conclusion therefore just changed because right now what the video detailed is that Rowlet would go all the way through being a grass flying. Litten, Litten the kitten, is going to be a goddamn fire ground from the information that was found through the inspect element of the official Japanese Sun and Moon starter page. And Poplio was going to be water fighting. This is the one I'm the most excited for, my boy. How many water fightings do we have? Counting final evolutions, two of them. Polyrath and Keldeo. Another water fighting would be great. I would... <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I was hoping so much when Black and White came out that Samurott was going to be a water fighting. It didn't turn out to be so. Why is this? Because coming from, you know, the little bit of competitive knowledge that I still have in my brain tells me that water fighting is one of the coolest typings out there. Not just for the looks, not just for the coolness of the uniqueness of the two types coming together, but for the fact that it's so good competitively. I mean, fighting gives you a real good defense advantage because you can take a lot of the most common offensive attacking types, like Rock, for instance, you know? And plus, you're an offensive type type when you go with fighting so you can break down a lot of defensive walls out there plus water being a very defensive type it mends together with the fighting type so well and what kind of abilities would it have poplio being a water fighting even with the new information that they found is still kind of confirmed here because this person who's who kind of deduced what typings come first and how they would make it so that's the final typing it still is concluded that poplio will be a water fighting type is that true? Yeah, yeah. Poplio will remain a water fighting type. So, hey, guys, you got to let me know what you think, man. Maybe it ain't something as unique as dragon water, but hey, man, I'm still excited about it. And it makes sense considering, you know, Poplio is an otter or seal. It's a seal. Which one? Would it would be a sea otter or I don't know. It's one of those two. But, you know, it has kind of like the bulky hands. I mean, I love this little guy right now. And people already made fan art of this little nigga David. So, I mean, for me, it works, man. If this dude turns out to be a water fighting, oh, my God. 
God. Oh my God. I'm gonna lose my mind, dog. I'm just saying. Only two of them out there. And now we have another one potentially joining the mix. I know this video was meant to talk about all of them, so we're going to move onward. Now, apparently, Lit in the K is going to be going to either be a pure fire type or a fire ground type. Now, I would prefer a fire ground. Stab bonus on ground attacks as well as you being a fighting type. Maybe you're somewhat of a glass cannon, but good lord almighty, you have so much coverage with fire and ground. And plus, would it be an offensive attacker? Maybe it'll even be mixed, who knows? But this is already an exciting prospect right here. Ground and fire. When is the last time we've had that as a starter? We never had that as a starter, have we? Hopefully, I'm not fucking up the information there, but we've had Charizard, we've had Typhlosion, we've had, um, um, we've had Blaziken, we've had, uh, we've had, okay, man, now I'm forgetting, <laughs> I'm forgetting it all. <laughs> Wait, no, we had Infernape, and then we had, what was it, um, we had Embor, then we had, uh, what was it? Gen 6, God, man, like, if I saw them, I would know exactly what they are, but... Gen 6 was, what? damn man, Gen 6 was a blur to me man, like I, I rushed through that game, but damn, we, I don't think we've had a fire ground starter just yet, so this is big, and I'm looking forward to it man, I mean, typing wise, like I said, glass cannon, probably going to have a lot of offensive coverage, and hope, probably going to be speedy as hell too, most likely, I mean look at that thing, it's a cat, cats have to be agile, so that's going to be a must, unless it turns into some kind of per ugly kind of bitch, but then we're going to move on to Rowlet. Now, how do I feel about this thing's typing? It's a little bit tricky, because being grass flying makes you so susceptible to ice, which is such a common offensive attacking type out there, so we can't really expect much from Rowlet when it comes to the defensive side of things. Maybe with this kind of a typing, however, it could, and plus Stealth Rocks would fuck it up the ass too, man. Like, that, that's just another, that's why I love Poplio's typing so much, because Stealth Rocks, those don't matter to a Pokemon that's going to become a water fighting. Get, get those shits the fuck out of here, man. And plus, it, it, it looks like you could learn a rabbit spin. I don't know. Just, just just looking at the general design of it. Maybe it could. Maybe Rowlet could as well, too. But Rowlet wouldn't like to deal with them stealth rocks. That's the flying typing. We we'll fuck it up real big in that regard. But man, with just the typing alone, if it stays grass flying, uh, but if it turns into a grass ground, that would be interesting. And I feel like I like that typing a lot more because grass would obviously eradicate a lot of the weaknesses that would come along with being just a grass type itself. I love it, man. Or just being a ground type itself, rather. You get rid of the weakness of the flying with the ground immunity, and you get rid of the weakness with the um, with the with the grass. Um, in terms of wait, what would you get rid of? You get rid of the weakness because grass is weak to ice. It's weak to fire, so you would still have those weaknesses if you were grass ground. But yo, man, I, I mean, you get rid of the water weakness with the ground type and with grass. I mean, I feel like it complements each other so well. And how many, how many grass ground types do we have? Do we even have any, man? I, you know what? Let me check just to make sure. I want to, I want to make sure I know what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna look this up really quick. But grass ground just itself sounds like a unique typing. I would love for it to be grass water, but I mean, that, that, to me, that's one of the best typings out there. But you know, we're not going to get a lot of that, obviously. Ludicolo, we can't have a lot of those guys running around. But hold on, let me see here. Hold on, give me a second, because grass, ground. We have one, I think. We have one. Torterra. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I mean, ice would fuck it up the ass. So, once again, not going to really be that defensive. But at least grass, ground will complement it a little bit better than grass flying, which just, I mean, they're both still super weak to ice, so... But you know, at least grass flying, I mean, excuse me, at least grass ground has stealth rock immunity and not like, like well, not immunity, but you know, it takes way less damage. Yeah, we don't really have many grass grounds. Yeah, yeah, we don't have much at all. Okay, so just one. So if we have to go for either grass ground or grass flying, which one would you prefer for Rowlet here, man? And that's pretty much it, man. So if you guys are curious about this whole thing, maybe it still exists on the Japanese website. You can go there yourself. You can see all the information laid out. It's pretty cool that people managed to discover this thing. I mean, Nintendo, you gotta keep a tighter lid on this stuff, man. I mean, Sun and Moon is probably one of your only ace cards for this year. You can't be having information leak out like that, man. I'm just saying. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think about these typings in the comments. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.